This is gonna shock you. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be examining are big banks better than credit union? So most, I've gotten a question, people are asking me, Mr. V, uh, my neighborhood credit union is telling me that they're better than big banks. Like, which one is better? So we're gonna examine that in today's video. So uh, before we even jump into the video, guys, so question for you. Have you used credit unions and have you used big banks? And if yes, if you've used both, what has been your experience? I wanna hear that in the comment section below. So definitely share with us what you think. So here's my take about big banks and credit unions. So if you go back maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago, credit unions were amazing. Um, they had all these good features and people loved them for their low fees and all the good things that they offered. Um, fast forward another 20 years to 2020, uh, we have the, the introduction of online banking with us, all kinds of online banks. Um, we have banks that don't have any sort of brick and mortar. So they don't have a storefront where you can actually walk into the bank and talk to people, uh, but yet they operate and provide all the services or all the products that any other bank or credit union provide. So again, the question is, which one is better? So let's examine what a credit union offers and um, what um, a big bank or less than online bank would offer and then we can decide which one is better. So let's start, the first thing is that um, online banks and big banks are for-profit organization. Why a credit union is a non-profit organization. So when I say non-profit, it's uh, more of the sense like whatever extra money that they make, they turn to invest that back into the credit union or share it with your, your members. Takes us to point number two. Credit union have members. So usually people in a particular geographical location, maybe in a particular city and a particular state, why online banks and the big banks have customers. You could be anywhere um, and you can do business with those online banks. Online banks have the exposure, the fact that they can even be global. You can have people doing business from China using banks here in America, um, whereas a credit union is only limited to a really small region. Uh, it could, like again, like I said, it could be in a community, um, it could be ex-employees, or um, maybe people that go to the same church, or just in a particular neighborhood, you have to live in that neighborhood to bank with them, so they don't have that exposure, that global exposure, um, as far as you know, being able to exchange or send money. Now, if you go one step further, now you see that these big banks or the online banks, just because they're online banks, they don't have any infrastructure or brick and mortar stores, they save a ton of money. So that money in turn, they turn and give you good rates as far as maybe on your checking account, your savings account, your uh, money market account, they provide better rates they use that money to develop even better products that they can provide uh, to their customers to provide them good services to retain those customers. And so your, your small credit union cannot really compete with those big banks. Um, your money that is in your credit union is actually um, insured by the NCUA. That is the association of, uh, of credit unions that uh, insure that money up to about $250,000 as well. Um, whereas your money in your big bank or online bank is FDIC insured up to about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars so in, in that perspective they're both insured just by um two separate organizations so um if you look at it um just from somebody looking from the outside again i'd say credit union um, have a place in our society. If you are somebody that really cares about the community, you cares about that human interaction, you cares about that face-to-face -face meeting, you care about building your community, you care about working with people that you go, your kids go to school with, you go to church with, um, then a credit union would be an ideal place for you. Um, are you gonna be missing out on some really good products? The answer is yes. Um, you can do a combination of both. You can use those online banks for or, you know, maybe say like a money market account because they offer really excellent rate. Um, you can use the online banks for investing because um, they have products and uh, services that are really geared towards helping you grow your money better than your credit union. But for your everyday activity, let's say your checking account or just your, your, your emergency fund, you can put it in your 
your credit union that you can actually go in and use it. Even with your savings account, credit unions still don't offer a better rate compared to online banks. Online banks are offering um, somewhere between 1.5 up to about 2.5% in your savings account, whereas their credit union cannot offer that kind of amount of money because they don't really have um, their, their, their products or the services uh, to be able to get the rates that low. So um, that's what I see as far as it goes in uh, fee wise. Like I said, credit unions, um, the fees, are, you could say a little bit comparable, but uh, online banks, because they don't have the infrastructure, they don't have the brick and mortar, they use all that money, they can use it to actually lower their fees. Where at credit union, they have a physical location that you have to go into and they pay for that location. But um, the fees are kind of comparable. So uh, my personal take, um, in 2020, I would use an online bank first before I would consider using a credit union. Um, reason again, like from what I've already outlined to you guys, number one is that they offer a ton of products. Number two, they operate at a global level. So if, I'm, if I want to do business in China, I can actually do it knowing that I can exchange my money. Um, and number three is that they provide, you know, FDIC security on my money, insurance on my money. Um, I know credit unions have some sort of security, but I prefer the FDIC insured. It's a very um, better known um, insurance for money compared to the NCUA for credit unions. Um, number four is that the interest rates are way better compared to credit unions. Um, again, um, sometimes I'll hear that uh, you know, loan-wise credit unions might offer a better a better rate, but so far shopping online, I've seen more a better rate compared to credit unions. So for that reason, uh, my vote is, I'll say online banks win this one. Um, would you say they win hands down? I'll probably say they win about 70, 80 um, to maybe 20% uh, uh, credit union. Again, it's totally up to you as the individual um, to kind of look at what really matters the most to you. Um, are you looking to grow your money? Are you, do you care about certain things? You care about service, you care about people, you care about your community, you care about uh, really uh, working with, uh, again, the people that your kids go to school with, they go to church with. Um, if those things matter to you, then consider a credit union. Uh, if you want to grow your money, have more options, more products, use online banking. Can you do a combination of the two? Yes, like I said, savings account and checking account, you can have them, your credit union. And then on the flip side, investment account, loans, and all these other things that you can get a better rate from online banking, you can use them. And that'll give you a really good balance. Again, question of the day, what's your experience with credit unions and big banks? Let me know in the comment section. If you like the video, go ahead and give that thumbs up and please, do me a favor, hit that notification button because YouTube has decided that if you don't hit the notif notification button, you're not getting um, notification as soon as my videos come out. So please hit that notification button for me. And as always, subscribe to the channel so we can help it grow. Share it with one friend that you think would find it useful. Stay motivated.